Hello there and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. My name is Ladron and today I want to speak to you about synthesia. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Now I first, first heard of this uh, last week when I was driving. I was listening to BBC Radio 4, just having a quick listen to what was on the news just to dip, just be aware of what was out there basically. This was like late at night and I was hearing this episode of um, these people who could feel colours uh, and taste uh, certain things. And one guy was on there, I, can't, I didn't get his name, but such things like the, the name Totten, Tottenham Court Road, we said it was like the perfect fry-up, <laughs> the f perfect uh, English breakfast because Tottenham was tasted like sausages. Um, court, which was like the, the, the taste of beans, and then road was like toast. And every time he heard these words, he'll get these tastes in his mouth. And it's like, hmm, what is, what is that? What is synesthesia? You know, these individuals can see and feel colors in a certain way. And maybe you watching this right now have experienced exactly the same thing. If not, I don't know. But what is the cause of this? Like, what makes us do that? What happens to our brain, our body, which gives us these taste buds or feelings and like what is programmed in us to, to do that. Now I'm talking about every single word that an individual hears, they will taste different things. So even like their, their names of their family, I don't know, the name Linda or Maria or Andrea or Wendy and all these other different names, like um, all these different names will have different meanings to them. And it's like, oh, that's interesting, I don't have that. I mean like, when I think of, um, you know, when I think of uh, like an object or a, a person or especially an animal, yeah, I have a memory of that, especially of like, you know, a brown dog. You know, I start thinking of my old dog, Obi, Obi Gone Kenobi. Miss him very much, you know. I got very emotional the other day, seeing some pictures, you know, I missed him very much. He's no longer with me. And, you know, those brought up some feelings, but I wasn't tasting him in my mouth although when I think of him I remember the smells and the feelings that he had but these individuals have this ability to feel color to feel tones there was one girl who um who I was listening to which really got my attention was that she was playing the piano and um every time she played a note she would see and feel a color so every time she played like D sharp or F sharp, A major or whatever it is, uh, not too good with my notes, she would feel like greens and blues and then she'll play them both and you, she'll have like this blending which would turn into like a turquoise or a purple. And it's like, wow, what is going on there? Like, does color have a tone or does, does sound have a color? You know, is it all part of the same frequency of, of brain, of, of wavelengths of light? like you know the alpha beta theta delta brainwave states like do each one of them have a brainwave um you know a brainwave color so there's for example there are i think there's eight um brainwave states or seven so it's like if you think of it we have epsilon we have delta theta um probably said that wrong way around um we have alpha, beta, uh, gamma, hypergamma, and epsilon. We have eight, but it's very close to our our seven um, colors of the auric field. You know, the red, orange, yellow, blue. Um, I'm gonna start green. <laughs> so going through all the different colors, and we start again: red, orange, uh, yellow, green, blue indigo, uh, violet, that's seven, but there are eight brainwave states, or if we took away gamma and hypergamma and just had gamma, we would have eight. So then do things like that. Are there different wavelengths of sound and frequency? Do they all have the same sort of like color associate, associated with it? So does blue always represent like a theta uh, state of consciousness? Um, or does delta represent more of a green, more of a slower, more relaxed, 
you know, more heartfelt, you know. But then when you think of that, you know, making love, when you're making love to your, your beloved, that is passion, it should be more red, but then it's it's more energized. So you have this cocktail of different, you know, different cocktail of different frequencies and tones and colors that are all mixing with each other. But like, what is happening out there? Like, that's something that really intrigued me about people with uh, synesthesia, that they have this ability to feel sound in their bodies, that to taste uh, words that, that guy I was telling you about, Tottenham Court Road, you know, having the perfect uh, English breakfast, the, the fry up, that he was, every time he heard these words, he was feeling, uh, sorry, he's not feeling, he was tasting these different words in his mouth. And it was like, that really intrigued me, like, what is, what is that? What is going on? Like, what is going on in the brain or the consciousness? What is the connection where it's making these people experiencing these different states of consciousness, these different feelings and emotions. And yeah, it just, it really intrigued me to know what is going on, you know, like what, what is happening to the body? Like what is happening to the brain, the mind, the consciousness? And it's just something that was really, very beautiful and also very gifted for those individuals that um, the young girl I was talking to you about who was on the piano, she seemed very talented and very, very enjoying her hobby about music because I guess she, she was using her ability to then play with the tones because she wasn't here, she was hearing the tones, but at the same time, she would be feeling the colors and seeing them blend. And if you understand about color therapy and how colors, um, affect us. You can see that in one of the previous videos about color therapy. Um, you know, it's like, if you understand about colors, then you can understand about tones for this, for this young, young woman. So yeah, just very interesting synesthesia. Um, I knew of it many years ago. I just didn't know what it was called. And it's something at the back of my mind I sometimes think about with people, like when they hear the, the months of the year, they, they have a certain taste or remembrance in their mouth. But I'm just curious, like, what is that connection? What makes people feel that connection completely? Or is it just an ability that we have that is in, not in everybody? Maybe it's a different strain of human, <laughs> where, not strain, wrong, wrong word, but a different level of, of humanity and where we have a different sense where we can sense words, where we can sense colors, we can feel colors and we can feel heat, we can feel temperature, but you know, can we feel colors and their meanings and their sound and their connection to it? I think this is all goes very along well with musicians and people who do theater and, and acting um, to really understand more about color and how color changes them. So yeah, that's just all I had to say really about synesthesia and these gifted people. Um, and if you're watching this and you don't feel gifted from, from that, then perhaps it's time that, I don't know, you just haven't found your purpose yet of this ability that you have, which you can help others or just enjoy it, you know, rather than feeling it a distraction, then use it as your ability to do something in your life to, that others aren't experiencing. <laughs> making sense so anyway thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this little episode of um, synesthesia and uh, yeah if you know anybody in your life or perhaps you didn't realize you had that yourself then please get in touch i'd love to hear from you so for now have a great day and i'll speak to you soon